Hi everyone. I'm going to walk you through the RFM segments or RFM analysis by Moving Gauge. Let's look at the basics first. The need of segmentation arises when you have got tens or thousands of customer base and you would like to divide these customers in different buckets and in other criteria based on their behavior on your platform. Since you have a large amount of user base, you cannot analyze all of these customers individually. You need some ways to categorize and group them by using the data, how they interact with your platform. And based on those data, you can build multivariate customer profiles. So it's important to use these multiple criteria because using one criteria, you cannot understand the real behavior of a customer. Let's take an example. You have two customers, customer one and customer two. Customer one has made a purchase on your platform of 2000 pounds and customer two has made a purchase on your platform of a thousand pounds. Now, in this scenario, you would definitely see that, hey, the customer one is more valuable customer. But what if I tell you the customer one has made only one purchase in last two years, but the customer two has made four purchases in last one year. Now, in this scenario, who do you find the more valuable customer? So analyzing the customer data based on the recency, frequency, and the monitor value is called RFM segments or RFM analysis. So recency stands for time. Uh, the last visit happened by a customer on your app platform or the time since last purchase. The frequency is going to be the total number of times a user has visited on your platform or a user has made a purchase on your platform. And similarly, the monetary is going to be the total money spent by user or total time spent, uh, you know, watching a content on your uh, platform if you are a streaming company or an OTT platform. So what is the essence of RFM analysis and how exactly Moengage offers you to do this particular analysis on the platform. So RFM analysis is a really essential segmentation tool for marketers and it helps them to answer some of the major questions like who are your loyal customers, uh, which are the customers who are most likely to churn or which customers are purchasing the most on your platform. And similarly, who are the customers who are most likely to engage with your campaigns? So if you see across industries, it's going to be either retail or e-commerce or a content based industry or OTT or streaming companies for every sort of industry. This customer uh, segmentation idea based on the RFM is essential. And Moengage lets you calculate the recency event and you can select the recency event of your choice. You can also filter these specific recency events based on the event attribute. In a lot of cases, users use the same recency and frequency event. So we also offer a quick selection by uh, selecting the same recent, uh, frequency event as the recency one. Or you can do the selection based on your choice as well. And here as well, you can uh, filter it down based on the event attribute. So let's say that in this simple example, I'm trying to take both recency and frequency event as app opened and monetary event is going to be the order successful. That means a user has made successful order and I'm going to select the revenue attribute as price. On a similar note, you can do a further segmentation for these uh, users as well based on the user property, behavior, affinity or custom segment. Let's say that I'm trying to do it for all the users. Now I would like to build an RFM model for this specific date range. So what exactly Moengage does? So Moengage is mainly taking the value of recency, frequency and monetary, uh, similar to the exact value for a specific user. So for example, the recency value is three days ago. The frequency value is five times and the purchase value is 1500 pounds. So how exactly we will uh, score these recency, frequency and monetary values. So the score to each user based on the value of R, F and M will be given from the highest to the lowest score and it will be provided on the rank 
when you will be seeing uh, the specific table. So for example, let's say that for users, uh, RFM will be calculated by a score of one, two, and three. And the decision of one, two, and three will be taken that how much R score I'm trying to provide based on uh, the recency value, what will be the F score I'm, I'll be providing based on the frequency value, and what will be the M score I'll be providing based on the monetary value. The most recent the purchase or app open will happen, the higher the R value will be. The most uh, frequent the user will be on my platform, the higher the F or frequency value will be. The more the monetary value or spent by the user will be, the more the M score will be. And obviously, uh, the RFM uh, calculation will be an average of all three R, F, and M individual value. I would also recommend you to uh, go through the help doc and understand that how exactly we de uh, define based on the different examples of R, F, and M that on these different examples, how exactly we are trying to give these uh, values. So once you have these R, F, and M values uh, added and you have got an average RFM score. So based on those RFM score, we built a model where we uh, segment the users into a different buckets. So these buckets are mainly, we call the champions, loyal customers, potential loyalists, recent users, uh, promising users, users who needs attention, about to sleep, price sensitive, can't lose them, hibernating and lost users. So now let's see that what exactly these buckets mean and what more we could think of or what could be our engagement strategies that we could, uh, we could drive from these uh, specific uh, user buckets or user segments. So let's firstly think that who are the champions. So when you hover upon this champion uh, section, you will be seeing that based on among the whole user base, what exactly is the number of champion users? What exactly is my duration for which I'm showing you the champion user? What exactly is the percentage of these champion users? For these champion users, what exactly has been the uh, recency, frequency, and monetary value? And what exactly has been the basis of uh, calculation of all these recency, frequency, and monetary values? So these champion users will be mainly the users who visited your uh, platform or your app most recently. And they are the users who have visited your platform most often and they have spent the highest. So these are the uh, sort of ideal customers that any business would uh, strive to have or any business would definitely look to have. And for these uh, users, what could be your engagement strategy? That's, that's the major concern. So these are the users who needs to be rewarded. So they can, prom why they need to be rewarded? Because they can promote your product. They can be uh, they can also be the early adopters of your new launches. So these are the users that you would not want uh, to be, uh, you, you, you would not want to lose. And these are gonna be your uh, long-term players or long-term engaging users on your platform. Similarly, you have the users who are, uh, you know, in the section that uh, of, uh, let's say that can't lose them. So these are the users who has spent a great amount and visited often, but not so long ago. Means that means they have not visited recently. So as I was saying, you are an e-commerce website where you have uh, the sort of users who have spent, uh, let's say a thousand or of uh, $500,000 doing a mass uh, shopping on your platform but uh, they have not done it any, in any recent time. But whenever they have done, they have done, uh, they have spent a large amount. So these are the users that uh, for them, your major concern is gonna be that you want them to visit your apps most often so that they, you, they could improve the frequency of their users. Since their monetary value is really high and they are contributing a lot in your profits. So for these sort of users, you can understand what exactly is their feedback. You could run a campaigns for them to understand their feedback that why they are not coming to your application or on, or on your platform very frequently. You can suggest them or recommend them some sort of newer products uh, through emails or through any other uh, channels. 
and also make them, uh, you know, stick to your platform by using these sort of campaigns for them. Similarly, you have a sort of users who are your loyal customers. So these are the users who visited very recently and they have visited, uh, I can say, pretty often and they have just spent a great amount like they have not spent as equal to uh, the champion users so they are just a bit below than these champion users so for these users your engagement strategy should be focused on um, uh, let's say that these users are mainly responsive to your specific campaigns or promotions so you can certainly send them uh, your campaigns to suggest them a higher value product and also ask them to have reviews and maybe reward them based on that. So that will uh, uh, improve their engagement and also lead them to spend more on your application that will make them feel more valued. Now some look at some of the other buckets where you are seeing the users who are about to sleep. So these are the users where you, you would see the recency value are mainly below average frequency value are also below average and uh, monetary value are also below average. So these are the users, uh, you know, who are not exactly engaging uh, or visiting your platform so often or neither buying on your platform. So these are the users. If uh, the engagement strategy for them should be focused, uh, uh, thinking in a criteria that if not, you are connecting with them, they can be lost or they, these users could be uh, deactivated from your platform. So your engagement strategy should be focused on a goal where, where you will be looking to reactivate these users and recommend them some of the popular products or offerings on your platform and also uh, provide them discounts for specific, uh, I can say deal or specific membership or subscription. Similarly, you have the users who are uh, lost. So the, this is the criteria of the users who have the lowest recency frequency and monetary uh, uh, values. And they are the users who have at least, um, or you can think of them as they have almost, uh, you know, lost touch coming to your platform and they, or they are not at all engaging with your platform. So in, in terms of like retaining these users or making an attempt to uh, retain them back to your platform, you can make your presence uh, through different campaigns. Maybe uh, since if, if you would see, they still have uh, your subscription or email subscription active. You can send us of the new offering or the new discount or the new uh, deals that is going on on your platform and try and see that if there could be any of the specific uh, criteria that these users could come back somehow on your platform. Now we will, we will also look at one of the last uh, sections here that is uh, about to sleep or sorry, this is the recent users. So these are the users who have uh, not uh, spent a lot of, um, I, I can say, um, amount on your platform, but they have made uh, purchase in a very recent time. And these are the uh, users uh, who are fairly the new users on your platform, right? And for these users, your uh, engagement strategy should be focused uh, to make a better onboarding experience and provide them some sort of uh, special assistance in terms of the needs that they might have uh, that would be regarding exploring the new products or exploring the new category or identifying what are the hot deals going on on your platform so that maybe you can retain them for a longer time. So this is the way you could see the RFM uh, segments in detail. Now we provide uh, the other feature that is the user transition in RFM and the R uh, user transition allows you to or represents the count of user of RFM segments from period one moving into the RFM segments of period two. So if you would see here, I'm, I'm looking at the users into the needs attention bucket. I'm trying to see the users into this specific time period, right? How many users have moved in into the buckets or they have moved out into the buckets and what are the other buckets they have been moving into? Like you'll also be seeing the number of users who have, let's say that uh, going from needs attention to price sensitive or the users who are trying uh, going from, uh, you know, this needs attention bucket to any, any other specific uh, bucket, uh, as you would see, like you can see the users are going here into hibernating price sensitive or about to sleep uh, buckets as possible. So this actually tells you that 
what exactly is the total number of users who are getting into that specific segment and the number of users who are moving out of these specific segments. And what are the total number of users moved out of this segment and the uh, number of users uh, or, or the overall user migration, how it exactly looks like, you would be seeing these details as well. Now, looking at uh, the other uh, charts, you, you would be able to see the recency, frequency and monetary, all three different counts based on each and every day that on day one, what exactly your recency, day two, what exactly your recency and similarly on day four to seven, eight to 14, what exactly your recency count look like. Similarly, when you click on frequency and monetary, you'll be also seeing the individual count in each day and on the tables, you'll be getting these details. So this could be uh, uh, the, uh, the details of how exactly does RFM buckets look like. Now, is there any way that, uh, you know, as a, as, a, as a business, you have understood that uh, I, I, I know as an e-commerce business, for example, I know who are the users uh, who are going to be my new users and who are the, my champion users and the users who are price sensitive. Now, let's say, for example, I have a price sensitive list of users and I want to run uh, and I have started a new uh, deal and I want to uh, offer these price sensitive users a one time campaign. Or maybe I, I want to save these price sensitive user as a new segment and I want to do some sort of specific analysis for them. So that could be easily done right by one click. You can either save these users and as any specific segment, or you can directly run a campaign for these users. So let's say that for these specific price sensitive users, I am trying to send them a push campaign that could be one time availing campaign with a specific offer for them so that they can't refuse. So maybe you can directly select the push campaign and you can select what could be the uh, campaign type. So let's say that this is a one time push campaign and you can start running this particular campaign for those users. And this is the actionable analytics that could be, uh, that is being offered on top of uh, these specific segments. So I hope you understood, uh, you know, the essence of or importance of RFM analysis for the businesses. Uh, for more details, please go through the help documentation to understand how exactly the bucketing works and what are the other criteria to define the logic of RFM model. Thank you.